Good morning, Jags. My name is Bella Edwards. And I'm Isaac Espy. Welcome back to another episode of Jag Spots. You know, one thing I've always been curious about is what people get up to outside of school. Well, one thing I like to do is drive around with friends. Me too. Let's go to TJ Fryan to see what other students are doing with their free time. Did you know there's a competitive puzzling league at 615 on Sundays? Well, I'm in it. Let's go talk to some other students to learn about some interesting hobbies or talents they have. Interesting hobbies I do on the weekends. I play Fortnite with my squad. One of my interesting hobbies is playing competitive handball. One of my hobbies that I like to do in my free time is shadow boxing or just boxing, like sparring. Those are some great hobbies and talents. I'm considering doing a Lego YouTube channel, but I don't know yet. This has been TJ Fryan reporting for Jag Spots. It was great to see different kinds of activities people get up to. Speaking of activities, if you're interested in doing a winter activity, you might want to look at our Nordic ski team. Isaac, you look like you could join the team. <laughs> well, the first and only time I went skiing, I ended up like a human snowball. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Let's hear from Ashley Hurt to learn more about the Nordic ski team. Now that it's the middle of winter, it's Nordic ski season. We talked to student members of the team to learn more about this cool sport. All right, so Nordic is uh, it's skiing, but it's more of an emphasis on like the cardio uh, in a cross country aspect. You ski not only the downhills, but also the uphills and the flats. It's kind of tough. Uh, it's a co-ed sport, so both boys and girls can uh, ski for Jefferson, and uh, we all compete at the same time, and we actually have conference this week. I'm on the Nordic ski team, and we practice five times a week, Monday through Friday, and then occasionally on Saturdays. And then we have races, sometimes it changes, but usually one to two times a week. Next, we asked some members what their favorite part of being on the team was. Um, I'm a captain of the Nordic team, and I think my favorite part is just the community we built. My favorite thing about Nordic is buying headbands and matching my outfits. Wow, thanks for all the great info. Good luck at your next race. This has been Ashley Hurth reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks, Ashley. It looks like a fun sport to try out. One thing I noticed last week was the 2024 senior sign out in Flag Hall. I saw that too. Well, Isaac, since we're both seniors, do you have any plans after high school? I do. I plan on going to UW Eau Claire in the fall. That's exciting. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going. Let's go to Jackson and Hennepin to see how other seniors are planning for life after high school. Hey, class of 2024, are you excited to graduate? Because I am. Let's go check in with some seniors to see what their plans are after high school. Um, I am committed to Concordia St. Paul and I'll be majoring in public relations while swimming on the swim and dive team. My name is Emma. I'm committed to Union College in New York and I will be playing soccer and my major is undecided. Um, I'm going to UMD and majoring in mechanical engineering. The person who helped me most with my decision was Chad from BCCA, the fluid power program. He kind of just made me realize what I want to do in college. So I'm going to UW Stout and I'm going to be doing um, environmental science and entomology. I chose this major because I like being outside and I like nature and I think saving the planet is pretty important. Number one, if you have not filled out your FAFSA yet, you need to get that done. You might be surprised at the money you could get from your college just by filling out that form. We do have two more help sessions coming up in January, so let us know if you need help with that. Secondly, you gotta have fun. College is for fun. Get involved, join activities, have a great time. Wow, looks like our seniors are on the right path to success. We wish you the best of luck next year. This has been Jackson Hanfel reporting for Jaguars Fox. It's exciting to see what seniors have planned for the future. Looking back, I wish I would have joined more activities and clubs as an underclassman. Me too. Maybe it's too late for us, but it's not too late for any underclassmen who are looking for something to participate in. One of the activities available at Jefferson is a speech team. Let's find out more from Lulu Fonseca. Do you like to act, read, write, or do you want to get better at public speaking? Well, the speech team has it all. We interviewed captains of the speech team to find out more information. 
Speech is kind of what it sounds like. You do a lot of talking, but it's not like, oh, I'm giving a speech in English class. There's, I think, 14 different categories. You can do anything between humorous or informative, and you get to just do something that you really love to do, and you get to learn new things and meet new people from other schools. So the average day for speech, we meet at the school at 6.50, 7 o'clock, and the bus takes us to our tournament, which is going to be at another high school, and rounds start around 9, and we're in there for an hour. Some rounds, they're called draw categories, they'll start at 8.45, and we're usually there until about like 4, 4.45 um, for awards, and it's just three rounds, unless you make finals, then it's four, and it's just a lot of fun, even though it is the whole day and can be exhausting, it's really fun, and... So students start out by having individual practices with coaches and so maybe once or twice a week students will meet individually with a coach for about 30 minutes and work on blocking, review critiques from past tournaments and just continue to improve their pieces and then every Thursday night we have team meetings when we go over team warm-ups and upcoming tournaments and anything else we need to get settled and we can also practice with the rest of the team and get feedback too. Thanks, Captains. Maybe this is the team for you. Visit Mr. Sealing in room B104 for more information. This has been Lulu Fonseca, reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks, Lulu. Now for my favorite part of the show. Last, Last minute, minute congrats. congrats. Congrats to Kaylee Tan, Kihan Chen, and Amelia Bussey, who earned bids to the National Individual Tournament of Champions for finalizing at the White Zeta Speech Tournament on Saturday. The NIETOC National Tournament will be held in Nebraska in May. Congrats to the cast and crew of the One Act Play, The Woman of Troy, for advancing to the section finals. They will compete on Wednesday, January 31st with a chance to qualify for state. Break a leg. Make sure to stay tuned for our credits where we ask Jefferson students rapid fire would you rather questions. This has been Bella Edwards and Isaac Espy. See, See you next time, Jags. Jags. We are here, headed to TJ Coffeehouse to ask him would you rather questions. Let's go. Would you like to live in a forest for a week or a haunted house for a day? Haunted house for a day. Live in a haunted forest for a week or a haunted house for a day? Oh, haunted forest for sure. Yeah, some like spooky animal friends. Sounds great. No. Would you rather live in a haunted forest for a week or a haunted house for a week? House. 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 <laughs> Would you rather have a full phone battery or a full tank of gas always? Full tank of gas. Would you have a constant full battery or a constant full tank of gas? Full battery. Gas. Full battery. Battery. Would you rather spend the weekend with pirates or ninjas? Pirates. Would you rather spend the weekend with pirates or ninjas? Uh, ninjas. Would you rather give up bathing for a month or cell phone for a month? Phone. Cell phone. Would you rather drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? Uh, drink sour milk. Brush my teeth with soap. Soap. Um, sour milk. <laughs> Would you rather drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? Brush my teeth with soap. Would you rather drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? Brush your teeth with soap. Would you rather drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? Brush my teeth with soap. 